Do, 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. What's up, Shinobis? Mark here, and we are working on the Shashimin Warrior in the Abandoned Dungeon. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so for this fight, you want to have your shuriken three to four pacifying agents. Those are going to help us with reducing the amount of terror. He has this kind of bubble that you go into. You're definitely going to need that. You're also going to need the divine confetti three to four for that. And that helps dispel some of the magic. Plus, we get this really cool blue sword. Um, so yeah, you're going to need the shuriken mod. We want to max out our spirit emblems so we can use that shuriken mod as much as possible. Um, four to five gourd seeds should be good. If that, don't even know if you need that many. And some Ungo's sugar for that vitality boost if you need it. And maybe some pellets. So right away, I'm not going to cover killing any of these guys except for the one that's blocking our way. We're going to go ahead and come in here. This guy, go ahead and stealth him. And don't do what I do and fudge it. This is terrible. Don't do that. Take him out like you should. <laughs> I'm not even really quite sure what happened there. Okay, so uh, we'll collect our goodies from him and work our way down the cave here, and you'll see him at the bottom. This fight is pretty, pretty simple, I think. Um, after having some really tough mini-boss fights and stuff, I'd say this guy, we can get to him fairly easily. Now, make note of that structure there. You might actually need that at some point in the fight if you're over there to help block some of his magic. Um, don't forget to take your pacifying agent and your divine confetti right before the fight and switch over to your shuriken so you have it handy. As you jump in, let's target him by clicking in the right stick. And how cool is our sword? The sword's cool. All right, so go ahead and book in. We're going to be really aggressive with this guy. Like, just lay into him. Now, as we're standing near him, our terror gauge is slowly going to tick up. But because of the, the pacifying agent, it's not going to be, uh, it won't be that bad. Now, whenever he swings back, he doesn't attack that much melee, but we're going to block it. And that's going to help us um, bring up that posture meter. And keep laying it on him. Now, when he flies up in the air like that, use the Shrieking Mod. Don't do what I did and not switch to your Shrieking Mod. I actually torched him, which is uh, pretty pretty silly. I know you're probably laughing at me right now, and that's fine. But yeah, switch the Shriekens. Sometimes he will block them, but it keeps him busy up there. And keep being aggressive. Go in there and swing. Now, as soon as he blocks your hit, he will disappear. He will turn invisible. Do not run around and look for him. Just stay where you are chill and there he is he's appearing now when he appears we're going to run around all this stuff we're not going to run straight for him because he shoots out this massive beam stay away from those those blue orbs and run around there's that massive beam uh it does a pretty fair amount of damage plus it uh we need to get to him as soon as possible so we could start attacking him and get in there slash slash whatever hit you want to do and as soon as he blocks it when you see that that deflect that means he is out of there and he's going to start to turn invisible and he's going to teleport now if you want you could take these out by hitting them but i kind of found it unnecessary because he just summons them right away there he is so uh, i should take my own advice here i totally ran into <laughs> one of those orbs um, we're going to run around so we can avoid that gigantic beam of his and i totally messed this up here um, I go in and attack, but if you look at the bottom left, I forgot about Divine Confetti, Divine Confetti and the Pacifying Agent. So this is a good reminder for you to keep it tabs on your health, your Divine Confetti, and the Pacifying Agent. You want to make sure those stay up, which is why you want to have three or four. Now, this is where I utilize that structure. Uh, it did kind of help me. Um, I'm pretty fortunate this, this happened, but you can learn from my mistakes. Um, so I totally botched this, uh, but it is a, is a lesson learned. So once again, get in there and just be aggressive and attack, attack, attack. Now, look at his health. I almost had him. It was so close. But if you keep attacking, eventually he will teleport. And so again, when he teleports, we're going to walk all the way around and actually run not walk remember we hold in circle or b now look at the faces it's so creepy it's so creepy and cool now go ahead and lay into him again we're being aggressive and boom we get a death blow on him so we're 50 percent of the way through now his his um his attack isn't going to change that much we're basically going to do the same thing 
Keep running around the beam. Qu quick being, uh, be quickly aggressive. Look for him to fly up in the air. And whatever he's doing here, that's fine. We're going to be aggressive and use your favorite attacks. I kind of like the, the whirlwind attack, which is both bumpers. Um, and sort of scooting around him left and right. And so we're, we're pacing ourselves. We see that where he is appearing. And then we are going to go ahead and we're going to run around again. Um, this is a terrible time for me to try to heal and stuff. Don't do this right before because the animation it takes for us to do all that stuff, he's going to heal himself. Um, and, and he's going to hit us with that beam, nullifying any of that stuff we tried to do. So remember, when he goes up into the air, you want to attack him with your shurikens if you can, but get in his face, keep pressing. When he draws that weapon back, get ready to deflect it. There we go. So he got me, but that's okay. We're going to resurrect, and we're just going to continue the pace of knocking him around. And here comes... I should have I should have deflected that. I totally botched that too. This is I did not do very well, but I kept this in here because I wanted to see that even though if you make mistakes, you can still you can still beat him. So keep pressing around, try to dodge and avoid those. Um, you can see that my health is a little low, but I decided to press it. Thanks so much for checking out my guide. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.